Kale is loaded with anti-nutrients and oxalates. That isn't true. Kale is actually a low oxalate green. So he's getting off to a bad start here. They're like these sharp little needles mm -hmm. that poke holes in your gut. Kale yeah. is loaded with them. You know what else, especially in the keto space? Almonds, almond flour loaded mm -hmm. with oxalates. So is spinach. While almonds and spinach are higher in oxalates, note how he didn't cite any evidence to support that they'll poke holes in your gut. And although there's a relative lack of research on spinach and gut health, we do have some research on almonds. And this review of randomized controlled trials suggests that almond consumption has a relatively neutral to positive impact on gut health parameters, at least in the majority of studies. So they're going to get joint pain. They're going to get um, uh, post-nasal drip mm -hmm. by eating those foods. They're going to get inflammation by eating those foods. They're going to gain weight eating those foods. Yeah. Once again, no research cited. And upon a quick review of the research, neither almonds nor spinach appear to raise inflammatory markers, and there might even be some improvements in that regard. And almonds actually significantly improve important cardiovascular risk factors like ApoB. And despite their high calorie density, if anything, almond consumption tends to lead to fat loss and a reduction in waist circumference, not weight gain as he claimed. So I can't see this as anything other than baseless fear-mongering over healthy foods.